I should probably find a way how to end this video and I'm thinking about things that I forgot to tell you. Hey guys, today we're doing a lens review. Come with me. So this is a lens from a company called Seven Artisans. And what exactly is this lens? It's a really cheap 7.5 mm f2.8 fisheye lens for micro four thirds cameras. First of all, we're gonna be going over the packaging. Uh, the first things first, the box is really solid. I mean, it's the top quality box. Like you, you don't even get this tough box for some of the higher and more popular brands that makes lenses as well. Even, even some of the Canon lenses like G50 millimeters and stuff like that comes in the worse packaging than this one. This is really solid. You have this really nice soft foam sort of packaging. And if you take that off, you basically reveal the lens itself, which you can see. I don't know if you can see, you should see anyways. And the first thing you see, it's tiny. I mean, it's really, really tiny. But it has some weight to it. I mean, it's only metal and glass only, like it's 100% metal. I think maybe the focus ring might be plastic and maybe the aperture ring is plastic. But I mean, even the... Even the mount is metal, so it's really, really good quality for the price. Talking about the price, it was 104 pounds on eBay, uh, which in dollars is, I'm um, gonna figure out it later. So the aperture varies from f2.8 to f22, and it's smooth aperture, it doesn't have any clicks. It's very, very smooth, which is good for filmmaking. Uh, but then again, you need to be very careful if you do any vlogging or you carry around your camera with your settings You might touch the ring and you might change the aperture by accident So then again, I might suggest you to put a little piece of tape So if you set it to 2.8, it stays to 2.8 Focus ring is very smooth. It's kind of I mean, it's kind of hard to To twist it around but I mean it's good because you won't be you won't be messing up your focus by mistake, definitely. The lens cap is made from, seems like, rubbery plastic, which is, seems kind of cheap, and it doesn't have any clips or whatever. It just sort of pops off like that and reveals the lens. Take a look at this front element. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Even the lens hood is made of metal, which is actually removable, which I didn't know the first time I was taking the lens cap, cap off. I was sort of twisting it. I was thinking it's some kind of twisting mechanism to take it off, but I ended up unscrewing the lens hood, which is solid metal lens hood and you can actually remove it. But I would suggest to keep it on just, you know, to, pre to protect your lens. Just to compare, I have my Samyang 8mm fisheye, which is kind of similar. I have smashed the lens hood is here as well as you can see and the lens is a bit scratched, my bad. It's very old lens, but I mean the front elements are quite similar. So I'm gonna be going down to the beach itself. We're gonna do some uh, b-roll testing. What b-roll slow-mo goodness we can get this one. How bad is the distortion uh, just because it's a fisheye? Uh, tip for shooting with fisheye. If you want to keep your horizon straight and you don't want to be distorted this way or that way, make sure you hold your horizon in the middle of the frame. It will stay straight. If you're gonna raise your camera up like that, it will be like this or you're gonna bring it up like that it's gonna be like this so if you're gonna hold the horizon in the middle the frame should look uh, the horizon should look straight if you have any posts uh, if you have something straight at the side of the shot uh, it might get distorted this way but I mean for the landscape shooting if you're gonna keep your horizon in the middle you should be totally fine uh, unless the distorted look is something you're going for then you'd be definitely fine
the second part of this video I'm gonna be telling you how are my feelings about this lens first time using it let's just address the elephant in the room it's a manual lens f2.8 7.5 millimeter fisheye and you think 7.5 that must be insanely wide but it's, but bear in mind that it's on a micro four thirds sensor which makes it 7.5 times 2 it makes it as a 15 millimeter lens equivalent on a full frame camera so it's basically 15 millimeter fisheye I think you get I think Sigma makes 15 millimeter fisheye lens for the full frame so this would be equivalent for that uh, but I'm not sure about the aperture, I mean f2.8 that's pretty good and so I did a couple of test shots I mean the closest focusing distance is insane, it's like 12 centimeters, it's like that close I mean I don't know, it, it doesn't really look that close when I show it now in the camera but I mean it's really really close I did a couple of test shots with, uh, shot with my uh, Samyang 8mm fisheye and this one obviously the 8mm fisheye I guess it's gonna be slightly wider because it's actually 8 millimeters for crop sensor so it actually represents represents the 8 millimeters. This would represent 15 millimeters, so it, it's about 7 millimeter difference. So you think, okay, manual lens for vlogging, that doesn't sound too promising with the focus, trying to hunt for the focus. So first things first, I'm using a mirrorless camera, so I have in my screen right here, I have a focus peaking. So basically I'm focusing manually and the display shows what's in the focus, so it's really easy. And the second thing about fisheye lenses is that most of the frame is in the focus anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. And I feel like I'm gonna be loving this lens. I mean, for the price, oh my god, it's just... It just blows my mind how good it is. Probably think about all the distortion. I know the fisheye look and the distortion is not known as too much of a professional look. But I mean, let's look at it from, from the vlogging perspective right now. I don't have to hold my hand as far as I can to try and fit myself properly in the frame which means the camera is closer to me, my hand is not getting so much tired and the microphone is closer to me as well so you can hear me better. With my 12 to 60 I had kind of, you know, stretch a bit to try and fit myself properly in the frame but with this one, I mean like, I'm holding, it's like, I don't know, just over a feet away from my face and it looks like I can fit properly myself. The microphone is really close so you can hear me really really well and if I really want to, I don't know, show something behind me, I'm just gonna stretch my hand and I'm just gonna go to infinity focus, oops that was the aperture, I'm just gonna go to infinity focus and everything's in the focus. I think this is gonna be a really really useful lens for me. I mean, I'm gonna probably be using it like this for vlogging as well. Obviously, for the detail shots, I'm still gonna be using my uh, Panasonic lens, which is autofocus and stuff like that. For portrait shoots, I'm gonna be using that lens and maybe my 50mm. But I mean, this is gonna be really useful because I'm a landscape photographer mainly. Whatever I make photos, I do landscape. That's the love of my life. And this is gonna be a cracking lens for landscape, for shots like these vlogging I don't know how it's gonna look inside when I'm sitting at my computer and talking to you guys but poof. and uh, talking about the sound I want to remind you guys that I'm doing a giveaway for my hundred subscribers winner is gonna get the same type of microphone that I'm using right now on my camera so if you want to join the giveaway make sure you head down to the description you're gonna find a link to my giveaway it's super easy to apply so make sure you do it and poof, just I'm so excited about this lens I should probably find a way how to end this video and I'm thinking about things that I forgot to tell you. You can't fit a filter on it because of the design of uh, Fish Islands, obviously. And I guess that's about it, I mean... Mm, why is it happening to me? I just shot the, the ending of this clip but the microphone was off, so... I'm gonna do it again. Since my SD card ran out of space when I was uh, shooting outside, we have an actual opportunity to see how it looks inside. A handful away, and this is how it looks inside, yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna be like one feet away, at least from the microphone, from the lens, pretty much the same. And this is how it looks inside, pretty awesome. I forgot to mention, if you don't really like this distorted look, you can always jump into Adobe Lightroom Find. Since this is 7.5 mil, which would be 15 millimeters fisheye on a full frame, just go and try and find some presets that's kind of similar uh, for example if you go into the Lightroom you can probably find a Sigma 15mm fisheye you can apply the same preset on this lens and we can probably fix the and uh, the distortion quite well 
uh, in the Lightroom. So that's about it. Uh, don't forget about the giveaway. Jump down to the description to apply for my giveaway. Super easy. Make sure you go to my Facebook group called I'm a YouTuber community where we can all share our opinions about YouTube and how to do the YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Super pumped.